It's definitely all word of mouth. I mean, uh, at this point, I'd say it's mostly bloggers that and journalists that propagate it because, um, like, just last week we had uh, an episode about Second Life, an interesting event that was going on. So that particular day, people out in the world that are, don't usually watch Rocket Boom may have, but do are into Second Life would have come in that day and and would have been interested in that and so then when they go back to their blogs and write like oh rocket boom did this cool demo you know showed the demonstration then um, then the people in second life communities link to it in their blogs and then those audiences that they have wind up coming in so the links just continue to propagate more and more you know through blogs and and journalists in fact, um, one of the most exciting things is about, it may have been six months ago, we, uh, I changed over our site search from our regular movable type set text search to Podzinger, which is another company kind of like Blinks. Um, I just happened to really like Podzinger a lot more and felt like they were more effective in what they had to offer, but um, the way that works is that um, they, as soon as I uh, publish each morning, they come and they grab, they grab the video, then they do a, um, te a speech to text, of the, and so they create a transcript, then they um, re-render it into Flash, and then people can search the whole transcript, and actually it's got tons of features where um, if you are searching for something and, and you found it, and like if in a Google return, you know how it shows, um, here's the word within the context of the paragraph or something, it shows you sort of the before and the after. Um, you can hone in on like a 12 second thing, so when you click on that, it immediately starts right, you know, a few seconds before the word and goes a few seconds later. You can also um, sign up for an RSS uh, alert for any word so like if you were Scoble and you wanted to know when he got when you got mentioned on Rocket Boom Scoble could get an RSS feed you know that said Scoble on it and then that would find it inside of the video every time it got mentioned and then he would get noticed that day that he'd been mentioned so it's it's already working for us and it's pretty effective um, I think it's an over 70 percent success rate uh, that they're able to get, you know, successfully from in, in creating the transcript, um, and that also um, they have additional features that they use. Like for instance, if you were to say George Bush, they could tell if um, the word Bush was coming was if you were looking for like a plant or if you were looking for the president based on you know the fact that there's George there too or if there's not the George then it might look to see if there's words like trees or other thing to see the context of the word so that's pretty neat. They grab our file and they bring it onto their server and then they um, cr create a flash version out of the file so that they can basically segment it off into different um, you know, minutes or different points so that they're indexable so you can jump right to any point in the video without having to, so in other words if what you came to see through the search was two and a half minutes in you don't have to load the whole two and a half minutes you go right to two minutes and thirty seconds and start there that's that's the beauty of it is that you get to the person gets their search like if instead of having to go find it inside the three minute rocket boom video and sit there and scroll it and try to find it it just takes you right to that point and immediately starts to play it one other pretty exciting thing about the search that we're working on actually releasing in the next week or two is through dot sub which you may be familiar with I'm not sure it's sort of like um, a wiki for uh, transcriptions. So f when the video p gets published in the morning, uh, somebody can get onto the wiki and while they're watching the video they can type in a transcript and then it immediately within seconds, like as soon as you refresh the page, that transcript is now um, uh, you know, working inside of this flash file and so the next person that comes along, like say a deaf person, can uh, can watch Rocket Boom, and then 
let's say there's somebody who speaks French then the person who speaks French and English can sit there and listen to the episode and they can type it in in French and then it immediately has the subtitles. Well, what if the subtitles not quite right because they weren't a good translator and another person who was watching it in French that enjoys it every day is like, whoa, you know, they're, they've hacked it or, you know, it, it's not right. They, they, what they meant to say probably was this. Then while they're watching it, they just go like that and then it immediately updates. It doesn't even have to re-render the video, it just adds the subtitles automatically within moments. So this is going to provide a lot more of the search and also just open it up to other languages.